and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for meme tier tuesday we just have a lot of meme tier donation decks so we got another meme tier day this week but first as y'all know tomorrow is wednesday that means it's going to be champion spotlight night for our wednesday night stream so we had to determine who's going to be our champion this week so we got a random number generator out uh, and let's see what it is so there are 61 champions we just use our phone just click here what champion do we got? Champion number 40. All right, so let's go ahead and, and figure out who that's gonna be. We'll see. So you know, like Fizz is champion one, and then Teemos two, Zoe three, Diana four, and so on. We go down all the way down to 40. So I'm just gonna count uh, down the right-hand column. So it's gonna be four, eight, 12, 16, uh, 20, 24, 28, 32. This one, then Victor is gonna be 36. So whoever is underneath Victor is going to be champion number 40. It's Heimerdinger. All right, Heimer. Oh, I tried to put Heimer right, <laughs> right above me, but it messed up. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. All right, Heimerdinger. So Heimerdinger is champion number 40. Um, so right between, we've done, we did Garen for a champion spotlight and Kindred for a champion spotlight. And so now we got the one right in between them. So it looks like, looks like my random number generator likes to roll these numbers right here. All right, so we're gonna have Heimer, uh, Heimer tomorrow. All right, so we'll make three Heimer decks. So that's crazy. The Mage Seeker three thousand is actually gonna be a Heimer Heimer deck, <laughs> but it is a, a meme tier deck. Yeah. So that's so there we go. So uh, Heimerdinger will be our champion spotlight. Now, how the champion spotlight works, of course, is we're gonna be playing three um, competitive decks. I'm going to be choosing decks with different regions and trying to have them be very competitive for ranked. So I will, I will build three different Heimer decks for ranked and I'll have those for tomorrow. Okay. But we're here with our first deck today. Sea of Thieves is what we're calling this one. Cause this is a deck built around the nab mechanic. We're going to be mostly all bilge water with our nab cards. We're going to have black market merchant is going to be maybe one of the most important cards with our deck because it does have nab one, but then also whenever we draw an enemy card, it reduces the cost by one. And that cost reduction, always important when you're drawing extra cards. So we're gonna wanna have black market merchants and we want a lot of them. So we're gonna have iterative improvement to be able to copy black market merchant so that we can have um, even more in play. We'll also have bone skewer to be able to reset black market merchant. Not bad, not bad. Or it can reset some of our other um, nab cards like Yordle Grifter, right? Like resetting Yordle Grifter, definitely awesome because you get the warning shot and nab one again. Um, also, you know, very good cards with iterative improvement. We'll have Spray Fin that can find iterative improvement for more copies or Bone Skewer, you know, like that kind of stuff. Or also Spray Fin will grab our, our, other, our other nab spells. Pilfer Goods, nabbing two, as long as we have Plunder. And then Slide a Hand again with Plunder, draw a random non-champion from the enemy hand Whoa, morning tea time with a big time cheers. Thank you so much. All right, for a Trindamir Barbarian of Clouds deck. Sounds good. Besides that, we're also gonna have Strong Arm because again, this is kind of more of a meme tier deck. So we're playing Slide of Hand, we're playing Strong Arm so we can steal their stuff because this is a Sea of Thieves. We're gonna be stealing everything from them. The other, the only other Piltover and Zong card we're playing is Ballistic Bot because these Ignitions are a wonderful way to enable Plunder. So that's going to be another two drop that we'll have in here. They'll help us enable Plunder because Plunder is very important for our thieves to have enabled. Um, that's why we're also playing Cutthroat as our other one drop because it should do a pretty good job of turning on Plunder as well. And that's that's basically the whole deck. And then we just draw all their cards. And so you're like, well, what's what's your win condition going to be? And it's like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see whatever, whatever our opponent's doing. That's going to be our win condition, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll figure it out when we play the games. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Sea of Thieves. All right, we got Karma Thresh. Love this matchup, because they're a slow deck, a slow control deck, so they're gonna give us time to nab all their stuff. That's exactly what we want, time to nab a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're gonna mulligan the hired gun, and I will keep the rest. None of these are nab cards. So, like, I could have mulliganed Twisted Fate, I guess. But, I mean, come on, it's Twisted Fate, right? <laughs> like, we're going to keep it. And then I like Bone Skewer protecting against removal and resetting nav cards and everything. Okay, so we got lots of fours. 
Hello. Finally, black market merchant. Um, let's see. I kind of want black market merchant in play first. Let's get to it. What if they block? What are you? Okay, they do block. Safety will cost. Ooh, rekindler, bring back twisted fate. Not bad. Now the warning shot will enable plunder for us. So next round I'm gonna like warning shot, play black market merchant, iterative improvement it, play another black market merchant. Bone skewer has to have has to, you like you have to strike an enemy. So that's that's unfortunate. It's like they have to have an en enemy in play. Okay, so vile feast, cool. That gives me something to Bone Skewer. I don't know, I may just wait on the Bone Skewer. I guess I will. I got a lot of other Black Market Merchants around. This will also enable plunder. Dang. Our skill got stomped. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. All or nothing. Boys. You're strange. Alright, that's fine. There's always like this is you know like this is a ruination deck, right? So we have to be a little worried about ruination. Just a little bit. Can you improve perfection? Rise metal brethren. Alright, how close are you to leveling up? Not very. <laughs> Not very at all. So if if I play this. Black Market Merchant, and then they Ruination. Am I going to be that upset? Probably not, actually. I'll be fine. Withering Wheel. Where are you at now? Oh, only four? So I have nine cards right now. Oh, right. The ignition was going to be number 10. Lady Luck is smiling. I think we'll be okay without that Jagged Butcher. We'll be just fine without it. So I do kind of want a Twist of Fate to be dead for a Rekindler, but mm, yeah, I guess that's okay. Deep Meditation costs one mana. I guess I could have played that. I don't really want to put Gohards into my deck, but at least it makes it more difficult for them to have Gohards. I don't want to do the 3 1. We will reset you. I don't know. I mean, I guess putting Gohards in my deck and then having Deep Meditation is maybe not the worst thing ever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I don't really want to draw two. <laughs> five mana rekindler? Is this 2019? Basically. Of 
All right, so you're at three. They're still passing. I may have to play this go hard. And get it out of my hand. So they have six cards over there. I taste purple. Yay. Finally the ruination. Bounce twisted fate or nah. Nah. Ooh, I like Slide of Hand. I love Slide of Hand in this matchup. Alright, that's something's gotta gotta go away. What you got over there? Got anything cool? <laughs> Slide of Hand's so good! What else you got? A ruination? Well, that just means that you won't play the ruination, so that's good. Alright, so it's gonna be two Karma's dead, and we took two Rekindlers from them. <laughs> so I don't think they can really win anymore, honestly. This is like the perfect matchup for us, not gonna lie. It's like the perfect matchup. All right, so we're at three right now. Five. Hmm. Okay, it's good. I just, if I would have hit another deep meditation, we would have been able to level this up, but not quite there. So they had the other two go hards in hand. I'm out. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. All right. Let's see. They probably don't have another ruination. But I guess I don't need to play into it just in case. Yeah, I guess I don't really need to. I don't need to play my rekindler yet. Okay, a couple of stuns. That's cool. So they have 14 cards left. Safety will cost you. Oh no! We missed the elite we missed the allegiance. Ballistic bond. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, yeah, I can draw. <laughs> yeah, but but I was gonna like stay alive and they're like, there's no real point in staying alive. Man, I hope we can face that matchup all the time. This low control deck, it is perfect for the nav deck. Alright, we got Sivir LeBlanc. This one's gonna be a lot more difficult matchup, because you know it's they don't just like sit around and do nothing. Alright, we're gonna mulligan the sleight of hand. Gonna need something to play some defense. Alright, Jag Butcher cool. Um If I play Jagged Butcher, I don't get to play round three black market merchants. I'll burn for 
And I know I could warning shot to make it a 3-3. Um, I'm gonna just keep the warning shot though. Okay, well now obvious regrets. We have a new warning shot. She made it 3-3. Ooh. You know what? This looks like a fair card. Merciless Hunter at three mana. Not cutting it. Let's let's make it two mana. Now we're talking about a fair rune terra card. I hate having to put my face on. Just just get out of here, LeBlanc. See ya. Do I want to, like, basically pass and see if they Merciless Hunter? Like, play something into Merciless Hunter? Not really. Kind of want to just get the attack in. Would you look at this place? Um, I want Yorl Grifter being nabbed or Sprayfin. Or, like, you know, being Rolling Sands or Sprayfin, I guess. I mean, I want your. I mean, I, w I want to play your Grifter while I have this Black Market Merchant in play. Hmm. No landmark so far. Watch me. Who's that you got there? Oh, I need to try and plunder first, right? It's not Yodel Grifter. Ugh. Gonna make a meal. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was thinking about, just in my mind, I was thinking about, like, should I copy Yodel Grifter or Black Market Merchant? I was just thinking about Yodel Grifter, and yeah, that was... Ugh. That's my bad. Keep up, keep up. Alright, that's a cool card. I know what I'm worth. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. I messed that up. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Success gets noticed around here. Wealth is merely a foolish distraction, my dear. Then call me a rich, distracted fool. Goes to a good cause. Get whisper words to cost the mana that it should. Do I want to go with this plus one, plus one, hired gun, block, merciless hunter? But then it may be kind of difficult. If I do that, it may be a little difficult to kill this Sivir. That's true. Even with reputation, this would still cost two because, yeah, this sets it to two. doesn't reduce it by two. I guess I should just have, like, the higher gun in front of the LeBlanc just in case something goes wrong with this Black Market Merchant so that then I would still have it blocked. Alright, we're at nine. That's interesting. That's interesting. Stands beneath me and winds behind me. So three, four, five, six. Stand in trouble far as the eye can see. That one's not gonna be easy to kill. 
I think Spell Shield, Overwhelm, Quick Attack. These things are not easy to kill. I haven't had a landmark yet, have I? No, I haven't. I don't know what my exact plan is. Yeah, if I just focus on killing them... So that's going to be three, four... Oh, yeah, I could just focus on killing them. I'm, like, over here trying to focus on, like, trying to kill all their stuff, but I guess I could just kill them. Oh, this is deal two to an enemy. It doesn't do the Nexus. Oh, this isn't going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, I thought this was kind of like Mystic Shot of like deal two to anything. Okay, so if I if I kill like the three one, then they they still have three blockers. Still might as well do it. This Ruin Runner definitely may kill me. Yeah, like I'm. I guess I'm still dead. Yeah, maybe that would have been better if I, I exhaust to get rid of the spell shield and then shampo this thing. And then challenge it. This game's hard. We need a pump spell. Love it. Okay. Well, I guess I pump off from this thing. It only takes one damage to kill this, so they could have, like, Whirling Death and kill this, where they're, like, they're not going to have Whirling Death and kill one of these other things. But I also kind of want to reset. I don't really want to reset Cutthroat. So I guess I want to reset Sprayfin. If I have to choose to reset something. Oh, right negation. That's too bad. Wait, could I have just blocked? Yeah, but I still would have died if I was blocked. No, wait. Yeah, because the overwhelm. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's difficult. When, when you draw lots and lots and lots of cards like this, it, it does kind of make things more difficult because you have so many decisions, so many different paths to go. And sometimes it doesn't work out. Like, that didn't work out, and... And so I'm sure that there is better paths that I could have taken. Obviously, though, I missed the warning shot draw with the 3-2 the, the one time, the Black Market Merchant. And I think that would have cost me because we would have drawn that uh, Might, right? So I could have had that Might earlier for, like, whenever I attacked the previous turn. So I, I would have been able to win. Kindred Ash. My deck has lots of fours. Yeah, so I think if I didn't miss the nab on that one unit, I think I could have won that game. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. I would have been at negative one with a block. If I would have used hired gun and blocked, I would have been at zero still. So yeah, if I would have just... Yeah, so if I would have put it on hired gun and then blocked, I still would have been at zero. Oh, okay. So I was kind of thinking they were going to have Rhyming Wolf try to challenge Ballistic Bot, and then I would have had to use Bone Skewer, but no, I guess not. I don't want to get this attack in before they play other stuff. It blocks. Like that.
Plunder always enabled is pretty sweet. Tear them apart. Hold it, sweetheart. Yeah, Ballistic Bot with Plunder is pretty sweet. Guess. Success gets noticed around here. Guess the undying. You know the value of coin. Okay, got, got rid of an ashes flash freeze. Um I think I'm just gonna sacrifice this and draw two. I, I had to bone skewer the ballistic bot to kill Ash. Which actually, that's probably good to do. Yeah. Yep. That's just worth it. I know I could flash freeze the Ash, but you know, killing Ash, very valuable. System upgrade. Sorry, ballistic bot. We'll save the spell mana now. So I, I probably could have... So I probably should have just challenged with the Ballistic Bot knowing that they were going to Frostbite and then I skewer the Yordle Grifter and that, could have, that would have been a little better for me. That would have worked out a little better. Alright, so we're down to 12. Be in this play, of course, to start the ignition. The ignition process. Ooh, I like the box. That can kill an ash. Yeah, it's easier when you have Black Market Merchant making these nabs cost less mana, that's for sure. What are y'all talking about with Ash being bugged? What are y'all talking about with that? Yeah, I'm not sure what they're talking about there. Man, I want to keep the man open for the box. Right here, but I guess... Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Ah, uh, that's what I was. Ah, uh, would have loved to use the box now. See, that's what I just wasn't patient enough, right? I guess I could have just used my other warning shot. I guess I should use my other warning shot. Okay, so that's gonna turn all those into that. Yeah, I wish I was more patient for that, the box. Yeah, it's just, I haven't played this particularly perfect. One good turn, hey friendo. Oh, got some fighting ya. We made choices. If I was just a little bit more patient, oh, that would have been great. Alright, so there's no black market merchant. So they have six cards. I have like four cards that aren't. <laughs> so that's the thing, is I only have four cards that aren't warning shots. It looks my hand looks really full, but just a whole bunch of warning shots. 
And I don't know about these undyings. Yeah, they've been drawing lots of cards too. We don't get ruination. Something for all. Hope we don't get ruination. Sweet. Luck is smiling. Say frostbite, twisted fate. Yeah, I mean it's just worth it to attack with everything. Some harsh winds. Love. Down to five. Let's make that four. Wow. They draw on. We're pretty close, you know, like a, a red card, maybe three, and then we get priority, then triple warning shot they don't expect. They know about two of the warning shots, though. So they won't be surprised about two of them. This is three out of five. We just gotta hope that we get... I know I could just play the three warning shots right now. But I want this to resolve because, you know, like, they're gonna have cards that heal their nexus, right? Like, they're gonna have... Like, they don't have the mana for Withering Whale anymore. So they'll still have, like, Vile Feast, right? So if I just throw, throw the three warring shots, then they could just Vile Feast before that red card resolves. Now we win, right? Because now, like, if they Vile Feast or anything, anytime we get priority, we got them. There we go. Outplayed. Two and one. All right, so they are also a slower deck. They also probably have some pretty good cards to nab. Targon has some good cards to nab. So I ain't mad at that. What? I guess I'm keeping all this. Like the Pilfer Goods I could send back. Yeah, I'll send that back. We want Black Market Merchant. Alright, prediction up. So I wanted to keep Higher Gun so that uh, if they had Round 1 Zoe, we'd have Higher Gun to be able to challenge Zoe. I don't know, I kind of want to just pass. They just waste the round. It's not like casting that's that important. Yes, Black Market Merchant. Do I get the attack in first? Because if they go Shivana this round, am I going to want to like hire gun a Shivana? Not really. So yeah, let's just get the attack in. So kind of tough choice. Whether to black market. Yeah, I guess we just black market. You know, or spray thin. Uh, that card's kind of useless. What do you got in your hand? You got anything cool in your hand? Maybe a screeching dragon? Radiant guardian. That's not that cool. Mm, I guess I'll just save spell mana. All right, so so far not so great, right? Like not not very good cards to nab. Ooh, I love that. God, I love that. All right, so we have to turn on plunder first. I don't want to do slow speed and everything. Okay, okay. 
Zero mana single combat. Not bad. Rude. Single combat doesn't count as a created card. Say your farewells. I kind of think they're going to sharp side over here. A chain vest? Alright, that's cool. Whatever. Same thing. Alright, so we're getting more combat tricks out of their hand. Yuck. Man, we have not nabbed very well. That's the kind of card I want. <laughs> like, I want Screeching Dragon and the Fangs. Like, these are the cards I want. I don't want Dragon's Clutch and Radiant Guardian and Mountain Goat. These cards are gross. Yeah, we have we have, do have more cards in hand than they do, yes, but they have better cards. Their cards are a lot better. A lot bigger. I guess a gold card. Stun this eclipse dragon. Deal me in. All that glitters. Yeah, they're kinda low on resources, but they have like the best resources, right? Like these are like the, the, the best cards they could be playing. I really wish they, they had like these cards instead. Yeah, if they play a really insole next round, I, I don't know what we do. These are the best cards. Shivana, Screeching Dragon, and Clutch Dragon are really insole. I just go in that route. Alright, so we gotta hope no really until. Hope our spray fin can find some nab. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Bone skewer. Eyes up here, or I'll cut him out. They just have the best part of their deck. The th <laughs> they just have the best part of the deck. These are just the best cards. So which one do I want to draw next round? I guess I want to draw Yordle Grifter first. So that means I need to do Yordle Grifter first. So that then this one... So Sprayfin resolves first. This is really as bad as this game could have gone. Them having just, you know, these all these dragons and us nabbing nonsense. But it's not over. Mm. 
really wanted like star shaping, right? <laughs> like something like that would be awesome. Weapons golden as the dawn. I don't think of any of these that like it makes sense to put the gem on. I guess the Radiant Guardian, so that both Radiant Guardian and Solaris on Forger can like they can't they don't get a free challenge with the Screeching Dragon on either. Yeah, <laughs> Nava Judgment, that would have been nice. that into a 6-2. So I can basically either have it be a 5-6 or a 6-2. With this block. Alright, so there's no more Bone Skewers left. We'll reset Sprayfin. Try to have Sprayfin draw something else. Like our double nab. Fill for goods. See? Thank you, Sprayfin. So we should play the the this card they know about. No, if we have a ballistic bot, it, you know, then we won't have the collected, the uh, whatever card. All right. Um. Let's do this. All right, you do this. That's seven. A good scene on this one. Hmm. Besides the cards that we put back on top, our last two draws have been Prowling Cutthroat, which is just <laughs> not a good one to be drawing right now. It's really not a good one to be drawing. Why would they have their 6-2 challenge my 2-2? I just want it to die. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they used that hush just to have me not save four life instead of like use that hush last round to kill the spray fin. I don't, I don't know what they were doing with that. It is kind of amazing that we're still in this, even though they had all these dragons. We're still kind of in it. We need to draw really well, obviously. And they have a lot of cards over there. We have drawn horribly, man. So I think our, besides besides the bone skewer stuff, putting stuff back on top, our last draws have been have been like warning shot, prowling cutthroat, prowling cutthroat, warning shot. Those have been our last four draws, like besides those other ones. Uh, well, that'll do. Hey, Aurelia Talia! I wonder if they saw my Aurelia Talia video that came out this morning. That would be cool. Um, that would be pretty cool. I feel like I should keep Monster Harpoon. We're probably going to get ran over. The aggressive decks are going to be really hard to stop. Like, if you're spending mana to draw cards from their deck or while they're spending mana... To put things in play that kill you, you're probably going to lose. So the slower control decks are awesome matchups, but you've seen like our two losses are decks that attack a lot. Uh, 
hope our opponent shows up. There we go. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. So it could be a good hired gun. You know, we'll just make this thing um, vulnerable. Cutthroat also has fearsome, so it's not like they can block the cutthroat anyway. Success gets noticed around here. It won't be first. Okay. So we have to have plunder enabled for all of these three mana cards, which we are not going to have plunder enabled, as you can tell. But we can just, thankfully, because of the spell mana mechanic, we get to just save our spell mana. I kind of want to bone skewer that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's worth it. That's definitely worth it. Because otherwise I was going to be like a 3-3, three, three, plus 2, 2 power things attacking. Still, I can only play 1. Bleh. One of these 3 mana cards. I'm going to draw a card from their hand. What do you got over there? Let's take one of these resources. Preservarium? That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. I like Preservarium. Draw some more cards. Okay, Warning Shot. Perfect. Enable. Some more Plunder. I will weave my own oh, Talia's so good. I could see Bone Skewer. Like, I was debating whether or not to Bone Skewer this Ribbon Dancer. Right there. I could see doing it. Take six to hold on to my uh, to hold on to my bone skewer. That's a lot. Dude, Talia's sweet. Get so many of these emperor's dies. Spray then. Oh, another Talia? Dude, Talia is OP. <sighs> this isn't good. That was the best card to have, right? Because I can't kill a Talia. Like, basically anything else, like a hired gun, two damage, and a bone skewer, like, I can do four damage. I can't do five. Wow, Talia OP. I'll be quick. And if they have another landmark in hand, like if they have a Sandswept Tomb in hand, I am done for. Got a lot of warning shots, at least. I have to just play the higher gun right here as a blocker, I think. I'll have to nab next round. Because like if I nab here, then I don't get a blocker necessarily where I think I need I need a blocker. Whoa. Okay. So, they want to put Talia back in their hands so they can replay it and get a fifth Emperor's Dice and level up the Talia. I probably don't want that to happen. I guess I have to Bone Skewer this. Oh, okay, the Talia still goes back in their hands. Alright, well, definitely not worth it then. Okay, so we do know... I can, I can nab now, though, because we know that... They have to play that first. Okay, so I got a sparring student. Just like we practiced. Hmm. Come on, there's so much to see. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving. So good. Make it worth my while. Oh, I stay alive here? Oh, right, because I blocked that four. Okay. So I actually stay alive? See, I, I could bone skewer and save a couple more life. Son of a we are at one. 
think I have to do this lead and follow stuff next round to buff up this sparring student next round. Okay, so we're gonna have eight mana. So if I play this, I have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Obviously, if they have any kind of Blade Dance stuff, I'm dead. Um, which I could kind of maybe... I guess I could stop a Blade Dance from killing me by playing that. This is a weird game. Can I get burst speed? Like, Twisted Fate red card? Next round. doing like I don't even know what I'm doing anymore I gotta hope that's not a unit right there. I don't know what else it could be, but I gotta hope it's not. Gotta hope they pass. Could be a landmark, I guess. Nah, it's a unit. Yeah. GG, Talia. GG, Talia. Okay, so just ended up with the 2-3 there. Um, didn't do the best job of nabbing the last couple of games. Um, this was, we, I really kind of felt like this was a very difficult deck to navigate. There was just so many decisions to make every single round. Um, and it was pretty difficult, honestly, because everything's basically about drawing cards. And, you know, like my hand was full quite a bit. Um, yeah, this was, this was not an easy deck to pilot. I feel like if, you know, continuing to play it more, I'd probably pilot it better than what I just did. But this was a tough one, but it was, it was a lot of fun of, uh, na you know, just nabbing a bunch of stuff. Um, so, you know, it's, it's how can you stay alive? That's, that's the question that you got to ask. Um, we're, you know, this was a meme tier deck, right? But like, you know, playing this normally probably won another monster harpoon in here. Monster harpoon looked really, really good. Um, killing some different champions and stuff, but, um, bone skewer didn't look as good actually. Like I would maybe go like two bone skewer, three monster harpoon. Actually there was bone skewers actually hurt, um, a few times, um, so probably want to probably want to do that, um, but besides that, you know, like maybe switch switch those two up. But besides that, uh, yeah, it was it was really fun to play. And uh, you know, if you get to play against a slower deck, a sl slower control deck, you're gonna have a lot of fun nabbing all their stuff. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Sea of Thieves. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.